I have retrieved your children. And finally, my little... As you asked. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. It is not a perfect family, but it is ours. You thought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. Oh, Ratatosker, you are far too loquacious for your own good! Y'all feeling uh, crafty? I knew we'd left something behind. Brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little mm. friend. how many of these fragments of Asgard there are. A realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work cut out for us.
to Vanaheim, then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. Anytime. I preferable to silence at last? A rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one in my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. Enough talk for now. Be ready. Enemy behind you, Kratos! Another camp defeated. Aye, and one step closer to giving the realms a shot at healing. Seems like a good time to get back to that story you asked for, brother. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity. was to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah. Women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. That's enough for the time being. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Guarding An equal force of Vanir and Aenir Yard. Presence of Aenir Yard may be difficult for my people. Just as their presence. Hello, Linda. Hey, guys. Uh, about your brother. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Let me hear. Lady Sif, Freya. It speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenir Yar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Well, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? We don't do that kind of thing here. This realm provides us what we need. Winter is harsh. We find two more. It's almost impressive. <laughs> Thank you. 
Freya, when Hildesvini went to Helheim, how did he not freeze to death? The perk of the Yofer. The boar shifting warriors of Vanaheim, as wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure. So long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. I see something.
I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option.